here we go again didn't lose the clip tops last night but as you can see the daughter scratched my nose messing around no harm no foul but yeah just going to uh, meet Matt now we're gonna take a little drive up to Merthyr and hopefully the uh, South Wales Pogo map will become in very very handy because this morning we were looking on there there was four Dragonites and a Lapras all within driving distance so hopefully it'll be like a mega raid today but you never know we might pick a bad time to go up but yeah I've been busy this morning antenatal uh, baby stuff everything is looking good so I'm happy and so is the wife so yeah onwards and upwards guys Not doing bad so far guys had that critical capture on the dragonite which was with the pineapple berry 20 candies so i'm only a couple more off doing another evolution and to be honest i'm hoping for anything with outrage when i do my next same with my gary though so i'm hoping to get a shiny at some point and hoping to get outrage with it because it is a beast of a move but yeah living the dream up mirtha tidville thanks matt for bringing me absolute pleasure mate and yeah, I was just having a look around using the Pogo map and uh, sort of seeing what life is like on the other edge. It's a bit different to Penarth, but it's quite a nice place to be honest. I don't think it deserves the rep it gets. The place seems nice and the Mons are pretty good so far. I'm just waiting for some more stuff to come on the map.
So there's a, there's a beautiful lake with all the little chicas. And I don't mean chicas as in women, as in baby ducks. So yeah, it's lovely here to be honest, quite nice, refreshing. And now we're off to go catch a lavatar hopefully. Using the Pogo South Wales map, which is great for the also great for Swansea. Devastated about that Dragonite as it had steel wing outrage. Lucky for Matt, Matt got it. Lucky boy. <laughs> and I'm uh, gonna go uh, cry myself to sleep, I think. Or maybe eat some bark or something stupid. I'm very upset, guys. This is my upset face here. Not just my sunburnt face, it's just upset as well. But yeah, some great Pokemon so far. Nice bit of scenery. Not a bad area, to be honest. First time I've been up here in a couple of years. So, uh, happy days. pretty much done quite happy with the catches plenty of lavatar around shame that that second dragonite ran on me but what is a guy to do but this now is basically exploring the uh, update that they've just brought out and what it means after the silk road have gone through the app to see what's in there first two is not really relevant they aren't to change their name number two They've changed how the app works to increase your memory, which should mean the app runs smoother. Number three is a good one. New anti-cheat methods have been added. So when you click on a Pokemon and you go up too far away or a gym, similar thing. But the Silk Road, got to be fair, is great for taking apart an APK and having a look at what's in there. Number four limit of how many of the same type of species can be in a gym which i think is great because as we discovered the other day with all of us taking on the gyms when they got six dragonites in there all with a nice type we can go all the way through the gym with just one mon number five new sponsor type well that's basically a placeholder for they're going to be adding a new sponsored gym not sponsored mm -hmm. gym sponsored poker stops but whether that applies to the uk is highly unlikely as we've currently got no sponsored poker stops in the UK unlike America where they got Starbucks, the bank and McDonald's to sponsor poker stops. Those are the main ones. Number six, basically they're gonna have all the news on one page, previous news, so you can just scroll through things you think you might have possibly missed. Next is all speculation due to keywords found within the uh, APK mine. But raid Pokemon, which means Pokemon raid, you may be able to defend your gym from home by sending berries to the gym to help heal your Pokemon. Similar thing used to be happening in the game Ingress, which basically Pokemon Go was modeled on. 
using all of their portals and all our current Pokestops. But other news on that front is that Niantic have given Ingress level 16 players the opportunity to basically set up possible new Pokestops. Which means if you are in a rural area and you've not got many Pokestops, you may be able to see a lot more new ones appearing, which I think is great. Especially Parklands, get out in the boonies, nothing there. More poker stops, more spins, more items. Push notification overhaul. Well, basically, it's going to basically give you a live update of when your gym is getting attacked, which is something we don't have now. You just look on your account and your mom's, ooh, suddenly re reappeared back there. That's pretty much all of the APK mining art that I've read so far. But if you go on the silkroad.com or just Google it, loads of relevant information. But also there has been an increase increase in upgrade item drops. Where some people have reported two or three items have been dropped on their seven day streak. So as I got my seven day streak tomorrow, I shall be testing the waters on that and letting you know. But that's pretty much all for today. I'm going to pull it back up on my phone now so you can see what I've got for today. You saw most of the catches. Of my so here we are. Current account activity. Currently sat in 13 gyms. While I was out with Matt, we called in Radha and I joined his local gym and helped him train it up. Just trying to help out a fellow team mystic. Egg progress, I've hatched a fair few today as you saw, but still no more 10Ks. I'm going to show you what I've picked up today. So 1, 2, 3, 4 avatars we've caught, all pineapple buried. So I'm sitting on. 33 Lavatar candies, which is great for whenever I get my Tyranitar back. So I can power up that some more. There's my one Dragon which you saw, which was a crit critical catcher, which is my first ever critical catcher. So I'm happy with that, and that gave me 20 candies as I pine that very good mod for Baldin. Still a little bit upset about the other Dragonite running. Not the best to be honest, and I'm probably going to transfer him because he's too weak and will cost too much Stardust and Candies to power him up just to make him good for training. But Outrage is the set you want because it causes absolute carnage in a gym. As me and the boys found out the other day, when boom, 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 gym is down. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Pretty happy with all my catches, the muck. I'll be honest, my last couple of days' catches have been good. Most of it has been down to a map, which most of the time I don't have to use because I'm just walking from A to B. But as I'm off for the week, to be honest, I'm happy to use a map because it gets me things I wouldn't usually be able to get. But also, well done if you did catch the unknown in Cardiff today, which was up at the Heath Hospital. Well, it happened to be the first time I went out of town, which is unlucky for me, lucky for everyone else if you did get it. Yeah, plenty of catches and plenty of hatches. So I'm hoping some of these IVs are good as I'm going to uh, IV check them as I make my video. So thanks for watching guys and uh, have a good day now.